we have a red flashing light. A oh, red flashing light. We all know what a red flashing light means. It's shopping time. Oh, my love. Okay, no. <laughs> Why is that van on fire? Pizza van. That's crazy. Sparky sent me a link on uh, Facebook the other day. And Infinity are doing an Oxford uh, leather jacket with £80 off. So it's £119.99 instead of £199.99. So I'm going to go and try that out and see uh, if, if the largest one they have fits. As long as it has a decent internal pocket, that's uh, all gravy. Chicken gravy. Chicken gravy is the only real gravy to have with anything. Beef, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're eating. Chicken gravy is the gravy that you should be eating. And we're also going to go to Maplin's and buy a Zoom H1. Because with the dodgy weather starting to come now, I need a way of recording external audio in a waterproof manner. So we'll see if the uh, Zoom H1 does me any favours. It looks like it will. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is how large it is. I mean, that's another thing to tie in with the leather jacket, is the leather jacket's obviously quite a lot tighter than a big textile motherfucker that you don't really have to worry about too much. So I do have my concerns about how bulky it will be in the pocket of a reasonably snug leather jacket. You could probably move forward out of my way. You could probably move forward a bit more than that. Yeah, so I have my concerns about how chunky it will be in the pocket of the uh, leather jacket, or a leather jacket. But we will see. I'm going to try and keep you all documented on this because when I spoke to a vow and to his own about it, I mean, he suggested the H1, so thank you for that, mate, because I hadn't come across that. I'd only been looking at like the Olympus dictaphone and the Sony dictaphones, that sort of thing. So, the Zoom H1, although it's a little bit more expensive, it does seem like it could be a, a bit of a better choice. What is that? That's uh, is that a Fiat 500? I can't even read that, what it says on the back. It's a weird-ass car. It's got to be a Fiat, hasn't it? Let's pull up next to it and see. That's pretty rad. I remember I worked with a guy once called Jim. He was a funny guy, but he collected watches and rare stone Buddhas. Oh, don't even ask, he was a weird man. He was a weird man. And yeah, he, <laughs> he had a smart car that he'd put an R1 engine in. And I thought, wow, that's cool. And I was talking to him about it. He was like, well, doesn't do very many miles to the gallon, but the 0 to 60 is like 9.4 seconds, and I was like, 9.4. I'm sorry, Jim, but the effort you've gone to to put an R1 engine in your smart car does not seem to have paid off with a 0 to 60 time of 9.4 seconds. It might not have been 9.4, but it was. It wasn't impressive, that's for sure. I was thinking it was going to be like 4.6 or something. But no. It was some slow-ass old fucking Ford Focus diesel 0-60 time. So I should really check my air pressures. It feels kind of alright at the moment, so fuck it. I can't be bothered. Cock face. Oh, look, ooh, look at that. I've just sprayed it everywhere. I hope that doesn't go on the fucking engine and catch fire now. Oh dear. It'll be dripping off the bottom of the bike now. Just about to ignite into a big fireball. Come back out and there'll just be a big red fireball. It used to be a Suzuki Bandit. Thank you, mate. See you later. Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is that? He's like something out of a fucking... It's like a giant karate kid. He does look a bit of a cunt, I have to say. Oh, man, he looks like Fred Flintstone. Yeah, I nearly, uh, I nearly went cock to vag with the young busty lady in the garage, so I do apologise to her for that. Well, she was very short, so I think it would have more been cock to belly button but there you go another one it's not a fucking car park it's a bus stop yowza look at that that's some pretty firm braking wow I hope that didn't have any fucking screws in it some unexpected traffic ah it's the Southampton boat show why i'll keep my wits about me oh, i'm so glad i'm on a motorbike because all this traffic is my fucking bitch now fuck you all you mother
motherfuckers. You little dog. <laughs> oh, sleepy dog at the back of a car. Hello. 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 <sighs> Rollerblades? When the fuck did they come back into fashion? Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to put a, put a link for that video, the quacking video. You've probably all already seen it, but it's fucking brilliant. Quack, quack, quack. So there we go, we've got Maplins up the road there. That's where I'll be going in a minute. And then we've got Infinity for the fucking... for the what's it me jigger me. You all right? <laughs> I love that. I look round and caught a family looking at me and the bloke fucking nods. But yeah, all right, mate. So there we go. Just bought a leather jacket. It's cool. It'd be so nice to actually wear it out and it's perfect. The internal pockets are perfect. It's got an internal liner pocket and an internal not liner pocket. It's not waterproof though, being leather. So I'm going to have to concoct some sort of waterproof baggage for the zoom when I'm out. But it won't be difficult, I'm sure, with some plastic bags and elastic bands, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, that's a really good deal, actually. It's um, an Oxford leather jacket, and I went a little bit guinea pig on it. I was talking to the guy in Infinity, and he was like, well, Oxford haven't really ever ventured into leather. He said, but I've had a look at it. He said, it's really nicely made. He said, it looks good. It's very simple styling. And it's 119.99 on offer. Fucking hell, I reckon if you wore a shorter skirt, my love, I'd have been able to count the wrinkles on your outer labia. Yeah, so I'm chuffed with that. And I got the little Zoom H1. Oh my God. The man working in Maplins was the most miserable, ignorant cunt. I fucking begrudge buying from people like that, but I just needed it. Otherwise I'd have told him to stick it up his ass and walked out. Yeah, I was like, he's like, can I help? I was like, yes, mate, I'm after the Zoom H1. Didn't even say, okay, follow me. He just wandered off. Miserable fucking look on his face. Came back with it and goes, that one. Yeah, that one, please, mate. I said, oh, as well, have you got some batteries for my Audio Technica mic? Um, well, not unless you tell me what batteries they are. So I got it out, unscrewed the fucking stuff, and I showed him it. He's like, well, we need to get it out, which is a fucking pain in the ass. Anyone with the Audio Technica 3550 will know that the battery compartment is a twat to get the battery out of. So I stood there fucking around. He said, yeah, we got them. Went and got one off the shelf. You got your own lane, mate. You fucking dick face. So yeah, the Maplin guy, what a miserable twat. And then I paid him, he's like, sorry, sorry. And I said bye to him. He looked at me, just completely blanked me. I was like, oh, I could have come punched him. What a wanker. What a fucking wanker. But there you go, what can you do? Oh, fuck it, I'm going to use a bus lane. Am I allowed to use a bus lane? Where's the little sign? There should be a little sign, shouldn't there, telling me when I can use a bus lane. I can just about here. Fuckers want to have a little bit of uh, a. You're a fucking prick! What a fucking dick. What are we now? Saturday? It's only three days until I go to Oxford to meet the lesbians. And by lesbians, I mean a light vlogging and the triple twister. The triple twister. No! 